Hey guys, Cast Black Rain. I know my hair's a mess, and you guys are gonna travel with me because one, I'm carving pumpkins, and two, I'm standing up and I have to sit down in order to carve these pumpkins because I do not have a table. I know, and you'll get to see a new scene behind me today, my kitchen. Anyway, uh, hold still and let's try to make this happen. I need that. All right, Clint. Hello. Oh, you're gonna need to try to. Oh no, I can just move right here. You need to let's get this closer. Okay. okay. So today we're trying. It's gonna be a long video. So if you got something, if you got something to warm up, like popcorn or something, hit the pause button down below. Eat it up right now because this will take a while. Because this is gonna be the longest video we have ever had. No. We're going to start. Do you want to do my pumpkin or do you want to do your pumpkin? We'll do yours first. Okay. That's the easiest one. That we said that we know of. Well, anyway, today we I went out and got stencils for our pumpkins. We already done and got them out. <sighs> yeah. Total good good example there. Something's dangling. <laughs> well, it's hard to get all the guts out of it. Anyway, we'll do mine first. And... Guess who this is? Mario. So I'm, I already got tape on it. I'm going to apply it to my pumpkin. And Clint, I'm going to need your help because you're going to be moving, putting the camera like right behind me here. Okay. Okay. I'm moving, you guys. Here we go. 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 Okay. So I got to see what I'm going to be doing here. Let's see if we can get this. Okay, so you can see I'm applying the, if you guys fall, I'm sorry. I am applying the pattern here onto the pumpkin. I'm going to need more tape. It's right next to you. By the way, I'm totally winging it, so. Because I've never really done this vlog before, I've only done it. Freehanded, but I decided I was going to do a pattern this year. Okay, stay. Now you can use one of the Pumpkin Masters utensils or a knife. Yeah. Or one of these. Now this is a screwdriver, or what have you? You can use a screwdriver of your choice. Anyway, what you want to do, if you can, I'm going to be using this, I'm going to pull coals everywhere. Because I wrote a note here, cut the gray, not the white. So the gray is obviously what's going to be lit up. So I'm going to need to poke a hole here. That didn't work out too well. Here. 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 Just four corners to start with. And there. And then this is what's going to take the longest. I'm sorry you guys got to sit through all this. I do not have the technology right now to fast forward things. But just make sure you press through the paper and hit the pumpkin. So that, you know, you have something of a trace. Oops. This is going to be a really long video. Actually, I'm going to use the knife and see if I can get... If I missing... That's what this is for. Duh. And I got that going in there. Now, if I mess this up, total fail on the internet. Total fail. And you guys will get to laugh at me. Now, if I cut myself, that's going to be like extra scenage for you guys. Should I go get my first aid kit ready? I don't know.
Now, if you're kids watching this, don't do this unless you have adult supervision. If you're an adult, be responsible. Or, in my case, have a uh, fresh responder live with you. I'm losing my points. This is really hard. You want to pick that up, Flint? Yes, I can. The cat decided to spaz out and she knocked over the land. I don't know if she broke it again or not. Yes, you do. Right. Do you not say anything here? What's up? But when you're being easier, just to cut it out. Scissors, yep. Pause the video. You and... can't pause it. That's, uh, That's why it's in the video. He does have a point. It's because I'm clear about thinking I got too much sleep today. Scissors behind you. Thank you. Behind you on the counter. Over. The other way. By the way. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, I'll go get the first responder kit just in case. <laughs> I am done, guys. But everyone has their moments. Here's the med bag. You're all ready for you to go. Just one thing I'm worried about is that, you know, I'm going to do something wrong. I know. Oops. Just going to tape, put that there. You can get the cat off the window, please. Yes, my cat likes to climb on the window as well. Go figure. So anyway, while we're here, I might as well talk a little bit about myself. Um, I love Halloween. I love Christmas. I love Halloween. I love all sorts of holiday seasons. It's fun and interesting. And, you know, you can never get enough because every year brings something new. Um, what about you, Clint? What do you, what do you think? What do I think? Do you like Halloween? Yeah. What would, what would you, what's your favorite part about Halloween? Uh, just to see what people come up with. And they do, like different pumpkins, the uh, designs, the graveyards, uh, stuff like that. There's a town or an area near us. It's called Purgatory. Loads of people uh, sneak into there to go visit Al Capone's burnt house or what have you. It's closed off to the public, but everyone knows people try to sneak in there anyway. No, actually, there's a room, there's a thing you may not know about the black place. There's rumored to be tunnels. Oh, really? Because, see, Al Capone, as he was a criminal, he actually had tunnels built so he could escape when the police showed up. Oh, wow. Now, you can actually Google that and look it up. Now, that I don't believe there actually is any tunnels out there in purgatory, but there's a bit of rumors that there actually is. So, if y'all know where we're talking about, don't reveal it in the comments below because we're just trying to privacy issues, what have you, trying to keep where we live at, you know, simple and safe. Because one day paparazzi might be involved, and I honestly don't really want to deal with the paparazzi. If you know what we're talking about, you can put in the local chat, you know, I know exactly what you're talking about, just don't say where. The cat is literally spazzing out. This is her first Halloween. She's, I don't know if she's going to be spazzing out about it or what. Now, our cat spazz, she suffered from PTSD. She was actually abandoned by her previous owners when she was little. And they lived next door. And they just left her behind. We didn't know about it until we heard a cat meowing. We knew they had moved out. 
So I told Clint, I'm going to find out where that cat is. And I was listening and listening, and she was in the apartment next door. It was sad. We eventually got her out. We talked to and the landlord knew that's how we got her out. And he said, well, either she's going to, she's going to, she, she, yeah. She's going to go to the pound. Nice. And we said, you know, well, is there any way we could keep her? Because I, I didn't know about the rules about pets and everything. And he said, well, why not? He said, it's better than her going pound and getting euthanized. And so we were heroes of the day and saved baby spaz. You know, that is still way too high because I'm not going to be able to get that. Oh, yeah, I can get that in the fed. It's going to be interesting. All right. This is taking a while. Now, originally, Halloween started off back a long time ago, um, obviously, when they want to say that it happened in Ireland, they, uh, I'm going to cut this all out like this. They made masks. It was either Ireland or, or Mexico, Spain, something like that. Anyway, they wore masks to ward off the devil and demons and what have you because, you know, Halloween is the one, one time a year whereas demons can run wild and free. I don't know if that's true, but I, if I remember correctly, that is the, the start of Halloween. Um... But yeah, I could totally believe it because, you know, you see kids in costumes and having fun in games. By the way, write down in local what your favorite game is to do around Halloween. Uh, let's see. Let's get this going properly. This is going to be really difficult, and I should have started this video later, but oh well. Um, let's see. So, a little bit about my life. My name is Cass. I'm 23 years old. That's not my real name. That's just a, a game I play. I use on the game called Second Life. I love that game. I've been playing that for a very, very, very long time. If you want to look me up, uh, look up Loud Type of Resident. My name on there now is Cass Theory because of my SL daddy, Second Life daddy. And if you guys play like you know IMVU or Sims or WoW, it's kind of like that. But like ten times better. You can be what you want to be. You can do what you want to do. You can you can be anything of your imagination. You can't even die. So and when I tell people this, they say, "Well, what's the point?" And I said, "You can do whatever you want. You can be free. You can fly. You can live what's in your imagination and just express it." People actually have made money from Second Life. Um, like there's this one game on there called Bloodlines. You're a vampire. The creator of that is Mars Bracken. Hey, Mars. Anyway, I don't know if he watches this or not. He might someday. Anyway, he makes enough. He doesn't even have to pay his rent. In regardless, I don't know about his food bills and other bills and stuff like that, but he does not have to pay his rent. And then there's landowners on there. I'm pretty sure, like the Chungs, I'm pretty sure they make more than enough Whereas they don't even have to pay for anything because all the land rentals they do and everything like that. And the currency on that game is Linden's. I think it's like $10 is like a thousand, or a thousand Linden's maybe, possibly. No, $10 is 2,500 Linden's. I remember that. It's the basic on the page. Um, I'll put a link down in the description for the website if you guys want to check it out. Once again, search for Loud Type or Resident. And you will find me. If you want to find Clint, it'd be Clint413 space oval. He joined before everyone was called resident. Okay. Like I said, it's a fun game. I just, I am at a place, I created a place where people be without drama and just enjoy themselves. All right. This is going to be interesting. Without the white, not the gray. Or is it the gray, not the white? It's the gray. Okay. There's the cat. Spazzy, kick him. Say hi to the camera. 
She's not Halloween character. She is not Fear the Black. No, but she could still be spooky. But yes, for most most time Halloween's cats, they're pure black. Kids kill them and stuff like that. <laughs> this is seriously her first Halloween. I'm scared to know what she's going to do to the Christmas tree. I hate these knives because they bend all too easily. Now I'm having a problem. So I'll remember. There it is. Cut the gray, not the white. Okay. And she'll get lost. She'll literally get lost in this itty bitty apartment and she will meow until we find her. Like she's doing now. Literally, this apartment is not that big. Um, anyway, uh, let's see. More about myself. I'm originally from Illinois. I live up now in Michigan. That's all you guys are going to know. Um, I have... Oops, I broke it. I have four siblings. Five, four, four. I've got a stepbrother. A stepsister, blood brother, and an older stepsister. I had to think about that. They are my pride and joy. I love them to bits. As soon as we met, it would it scared our parents because we got along way too well, and we got into mischief like all other kids. I guess just a little bit. I mean, sure. What else was there to do on a farm? <laughs> what about you, Clint? You got any siblings? I have one blood sister. I have ah. two half brothers, one half sister. And you are the oldest. And I am the second oldest in my family. I grew up with a family sibling, my brother, who was once classified as mentally retarded. To this day, I tell people that he has beaten mental retardation. I'll tell you why. He has a truck. He actually has a Jeep now. He wrecked the truck. It wasn't on purpose. He, he He's in college getting a degree for data entry. He... I hate this part. He ha used to have his own apartment. And him and his girlfriend, fiance, broke up. And someone who, you know, you've been told would be mentally retarded his whole life, and yet he's able to accomplish those? <laughs> Screw that. He's his own man. He figured out life, and he's living it to the fullest, and I love him for that. Okay, I'm going to rip that one away. So I'm just going to finish this part out here. I would never put my brother down because I love him to bits and pieces. My other siblings are normal. My brother is obviously normal, but he has he has his moments. But he's really awesome. He's ha he's handy. He knows how to. He can take care of himself. He, oh, he's just an amazing brother. He's older than me, but still amazing. Um, I don't really know much about my step siblings anymore because when we reach that age, ouch, hammered my finger. When we reach that age, you know, when life takes us, you know, like. Wouldn't grow up. 
We just kind of lost track of each other. I know where to find them. They can't hide far from me. Sorry, guys. Love y'all. But they're pretty cool. I know my stepsister's got like two, three babies. I think she has, she's on her third one. Two boys. I don't know about the third one. I think they're hoping for a girl. I hope so, too. Her and her husband are, do, are were high school sweethearts. They were really awesome people. My stepsister and my stepbrother, however, they're chilling. Lo love and life. No need to rush. Which is good, because they don't need to rush. Siblings of mine don't rush in life. I'm 23 years old. I'm still loving it. Um, alright, so here on YouTube, I watch YouTube a lot, it's because I find it entertaining, because it's with real people, it's not with actors and stuff like that, and I've got several videos that I like watching, several channels, there's Ben Landis, who's a musician, if you look up Cartoon Melody, that's the guy. And then there is Reckless Eating, Matt Zion, Chris Reckless, Havoc, Chuck Rowland, Old Man Tom, Hobo Brown, Blum Gump, that's been on there lately, along with the Cult Move people, Cult Movie guys rock too, I love y'all, LA Beast, that guy is phenomenal, he's bringing back Crystal Pepsi, I am allergic to caffeine, and yeah, I know y'all saw me drink a tiny sip of Mountain Dew because that's as much as I can do. But you know what? LA Beast is amazing. Because I want to have Crystal Pepsi. That stuff. Sorry for all you older people that watch my channel. That stuff was done. What's what's that called? When something's on his course. That 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 Pepsi Crystal Pepsi was um they pulled it off the shelves after I turned a year old. Sorry to make y'all feel old, but that's just how it is. Kind of working on the hat here real quick. Um, let's see, what else is there? I'm having troubles with this. One of the videos, uh, Natter, Freak Eating, Eat Like a Freak, hell yeah. I know I said there's going to be no swearing on my channel, so I'm trying to clean that up. Um, Ninety Five Camry to Life or something like that, that guy is awesome. Here's how perverse I, perverted I am. He makes videos. Uh, challenges of, of when his neighbor and his neighbor's girlfriend will cross the highway because they live in apartments. When they're having sex, he does a challenge to see if he can beat them in the time that they have. And I'm sorry for his neighbor. Should not last long. Three minutes. My gosh. That is all I can say about that. All right. Oh, crap. Finish. Also, I'm a big fan of Furious Pete. I plan on getting his vitamin pills someday when I start working out again. He's a really awesome person. Nick and Nikki and Sammy, the awesome British twins. You guys are awesome. So is the Hodge twins, but I'm not subscribed to you guys. I I think you guys are might be just a little too aggressive for me, but you can tell it how it is. Um Let's see. There's. You can see who I'm subscribed to, maybe. I think. I don't know. But the ones I usually check up on BuzzFeed, BuzzFeed Yellow. Did you microwave this? Hey, is it a good idea to microwave this? Yeah. It's a retired show, but Jonathan Paula, you are an amazing guy for, for creating such an awesome idea. Yep, I just ripped the ear off. 
They do some episodes here and there, but not as much because, like I told you guys, my siblings and stuff like that, everyone lives their own life. It just happens to be like that. Okay. Uh. Yeah, free handing this, guys. I know. Bad me. But uh, along with that channel, we got Riley McCalloway and we got Jory Karen. Every time I think of those guys, I'm always thinking of Monty Python's, um, oh, crap, I can think of the song, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, this is taking a while, and I apologize once again, guys. I'm hitting the 25-minute mark. <laughs> Longest video ever. Yeah, I'm just going to. Screw this one over too. I gotta get this ear to match this ear though. So, yep, freestyling a little bit, just a little bit. Mario's ears are gonna be a little different. I'll show you guys the progress in a second. I know you can see it some, but. I hold up there, Clint. I'm alive here. I'm making your pumpkin. When we're covering your pumpkin, it's going to be a separate video. Because <laughs> don't need to have hour long videos yet on my channel. Not until I get more people. Which reminds you guys, spread the word. Have more people subscribe to my channel because if, if there's more people subscribed, I'll let you guys choose what I do. That's not, you know, insanely cruel. Like poop eating. That's insanely cruel. Or anything to do with poop. Are you saying it's not illegal or... Yeah. No nothing drugs or anything like that. Nothing X-rated. Yep, no X-rated. Sorry, guys. My tits are off limits. Um, and no, they're not hogged by Clint. They're just off limits. Because I'm a respectable girl. Don't like it. Go find yourself another... Go to a porn site and, you know, enjoy yourself. Um, wow, I really offset it that year. But let's do it. I hate that these knives bend so easily. Let's see what else we got here. Um, I say the LA piece. Yeah, I said the LA piece. Um, he is an amazing guy. I would love to meet him sometime. I don't know why. I just something is pulling me to meet him one of these one someday. Kevin Straley, LA Beast. Ever since I saw his first video, and it was it was a video of him. What was he eating? He was oh Ipecac juice in his daddy's car. Yeah, the first video I saw him, it was when he was vomiting. Anyway, it just prone me to go and meet him. So one day I hope to meet him. It's on my wish list. And when that day happens, I will cry. Heck, I'd ask him out on a date for the hell of it. Because you know what? It's Kevin Straley. How often are you going to meet the LA Beast? Serious. He is an amazing guy. Uber fan. Alright, now I got that ear done. Which totally looks disproportionate to the other ear. Yeah, I suck at ears apparently. I'm gonna just carve this one out again. What's weird? Have you guys ever chased something that you know that just kept telling you to go at it? All right, I got this much done so far. I'm sorry about the mouthpiece falling off. Ugh. Next is the mouth. Let's do this. Let's do this. We got this. We'll work from the inside out, though. I probably didn't put enough newspaper down, though. Well. All right. This part first. I dropped that. Clint has actually gotten tired of me talking about L.A. Beast. He's told me to go to sleep or turn off the computer. He finds him dumb, but that's his own opinion. 
loads of people find the LA Beast dumb. I just find it inspiring that someone is doing something so stupid that he does it. One, for entertainment. Two, to give it a shot. And three, just to make people happy. And that's that's the whole that's the whole goal of life is that you know you should make people happy. And I think of yourself. That's just my personal opinion. Oh, this is gonna suck. <laughs> anyway, on SL, let's go back to Second Life. I do this thing called readables. There's me ruse. M E E R O O O. You can actually look it up. There is a website dedicated to it. It's created by the creator. Um those are cute little readables. And then there's I do wolves. And kitty cats. I'm a cat lover. It's who I am. When I was little, I was chased a lot by dogs. And so, you know, naturally, I was afraid of dogs. I actually have a scar on my chest because I was knocked over and almost ripped apart by a dog. Um, my parents are watching this. I love you guys. On Second Life, like I said, you can do what you want, when you want, wherever your mind takes you, even to the naughty side. Um, I have a family on that game. And I'm talking about real people behind the avatars. Uh, there's Ellie, Max, Ash, Dash, um, Sirius. Yes, I said your name, Sirius, and you're going to say something about it to me. I know you are. And all my XSL kids, if you see us, and XSL fam. Oh, I forgot my daddy. Chaos. That's all I'm going to say. Um, but no, my family, we're weird. We're demented. We're awesome. That's because we rule. Not everybody agrees with each other. And, you know, that's part of life. Not a lot of people agree with their families, what have you. It's just, once again, part of life. I don't get along much with mine, but in my, in my second life family, we look out for each other. I need to put my teeth on. And, you know, if anything happens, we're always there for support. And support is amazing. Support is... Support is what keeps you together. It makes you a family. Love and support. Oh, come on. Ouch. We're hitting the uh, 33 minute mark now. Wow, this has hit over half an hour of me just rambling and doing pumpkin. Now I still have another pumpkin to do that you guys will get to hear me ramble about. Unless Clint wants to ramble about it. I don't know. Um... Anyway, I watched my first horror movie when I was 17 years old. The reason for that is I was brought up with the strict fam, well, Catholic race family. And I was able to go out and I saw my first horror movie. And I loved it. Do I mean I loved it? I remember it well too. It was it was like the NBC, you know, independent horror movies. And it was a woman. She was getting ready to get married to a guy. I shouldn't take that off. She was getting ready to get married to a guy. And she was getting paranoid. But she was receiving all these messages and weird threat things that, you know, someone was gonna die. That someone's gonna kill. Kill a member of the wedding party. They didn't say who, but killed a member of the wedding party. And it actually turned out she was the killer. But yeah, she was getting all paranoid about it. About it. That was the awesome part about it. Is that she was the killer. It gave a twist that nobody could have ever expected. I gotta reach in and get that one. Maybe. Oh. oh, I thought I broke this. <laughs> I did actually break it right there. Oh, well, that's good enough. To me, it's a Mario. 
I remember one year I did the words LOL on a pumpkin. That was cool. All right, last part here. And then I'll let you guys take a break, go potty, and then we'll do video number two of the pumpkin carving of Clint's pumpkin. Which I don't know if he's going to do it or if I'm going to be doing it. So. Uh, we'll, we'll figure it out here. All right, now I'll work up here. Stay with the line. Thank you. That now I'll send you make a phone call. Hold the great part down, thank you. Oh my god! My finger! Yeah, alright, keep holding. Ugh. I'm just trying to make sure they can still see. Yeah, hold buff like you were because I'll get the nose out of the way here. I've never done Mario before. I have attempted to do things before, but it just I ended up just changing my mind at last second and not doing it. fingers. Oh, easy, careful. Don't move it too much. Or else I'll be out of the pattern. Ugh, sorry. If I had my knife the right way, that would be awesome. Hold that down on that side. Keep holding there. Next year, guys, I promise I'll have the technology. Ugh. Okay. Move that. Oh, I missed this part up here, I think. There we go. There's the nose. That's pretty cool looking, actually. Smooth it out just a little bit. There we go. All right. Almost done, guys. Almost done. I think this video might hit the hour mark. I'm not sure. We're at 38 minutes right now. Oops. You just flip out there, Clint? Nope. Not at all. Okay. Let's do this part. Yep, yeah, if I nick his fingers, you guys will see it. But if I do nick his fingers, I'm going to let you guys know. We will. We did go to the hospital and get stitches done properly. Now he's worried. <laughs> I've been through a lot worse than stitches. All right. Yeah. Next video is going to be all about you, Clint. You get to tell about your life. What are some of the Halloween traditions you've done, Clint? Egging houses, toilet paper in houses, uh. <laughs> so you did the typical TP. Did you go to cemeteries, haunted houses? Oh, I go to cemeteries. Yeah. There's a real cool haunted house in Niles, Michigan. They do every year. And that's, they spend a lot of money and a lot of effort doing that. I want to go there at some point. I mean, it's really awesome.
Oh, this is this is difficult now. Because it, the pumpkin, I'm gonna need your hand in there and holding it up at the same time. I'm not gonna go all the way through. Right there. You find where it's at? Pumpkin's starting to get weak at the spot. Did I'm I get fine, you? I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm fine. Did it hit you? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna jab this in just a little bit. Okay. I'll worry about cutting the rest of that off. Because I got the most pattern for it. Okay. Once again, guys, this is just crazy. I am nuts. So I like it. I mean. <laughs> mm hmm. Because the paper is wet. I only had enough for one copy. At least all we need is this upper part here. Gently push it down. Gently. Uh, gently. <laughs> Hold on. Try not to make a rip, but like I said, it's just getting wet all over. If you guys know of any tips on how not to let it be wet, tell me in the comments below because I'll use that tip next year. Oh, ripped it. Oh, that part can come off. This part can come off. Mario, you are a pain in the butt. That's interesting. <laughs> Your phone comes gonna be harder. Mr. Gene Simmons, hold it right there. Oh, this is gonna rip. Now, Mario is a pain. I'm just gonna freehand it. There we go. Okay, this part's gonna be interesting. Oh, what is that? It, it, oh, it, that's from the middle. That's fine. That's fine. I was about to flip out there for a second. I thought I cracked my pumpkin. No, how crappy it would have been if I cracked my pumpkin. Alright, almost done, guys. You can see I only have one more eye left. One more eye left. Remove this little piece of tape off there. I can see why parents sometimes dread this time of year. Because if you have like a lot of kids, this takes a lot of strength. Stick with the basic, you know, three triangles for the eyes, the nose, and, the, and just an easy oval for a circle. <laughs> or for the mouth. Because this is nuts. And for you professional people out there, you guys are even more nuts. Of 
course, you guys got better stuff to use than this, too. Oh, my shoulder's wanting to go. Almost there. I know. I get you? Yeah. They cut it. Just a brush? Yeah. Alright, all I need to do is just one side of this part. I can rip off there. Uh, and then I can just freehand the other part. Uh. Apparently I'm good at freehanding on pumpkins. I don't know. That's just me. Fingers. Those are going to be cut off. For sure, we don't want that, right? Right. I don't know if you guys have been seeing my arm a lot this whole time or what, but I'm sorry if you guys did. I'm just trying to get this to work. Ah. All right. Let's in there. Push up. And push that and or out. Oh, don't do that. So we'll just push it out. I broke it already. <gasps> All this can go in the trash. So if you guys didn't know. Over in Australia, they have pumpkins for jack-o'-lanterns, or for Halloween, but they don't make jack-o'-lanterns. I saw this on BuzzFeed video. If you guys do, I am apologizing right now, because on BuzzFeed video, they lied. So go talk to them about it. All right. <sighs> that part was gray. So I have to get this part out. That's why you thought it was cracked. Yep. All right. And I have the finished product here. I'll clean it up and it's time to put the candle in. There we go. There's Mario. 10 minutes shy of the hour mark, too. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.